I made it to the race venue and the coolest thing, I rode the metro to the venue. That's pretty unique. Let's see what it looks inside. So that's what it looks like inside. 50,000 people fit in here and it was built uh, all in 2000 for the Football World Championships and then later used in the Nordic World Championships 2007 if I'm right and now it's the venue of the Sapporo Ski Marathon nice the tracks are in really good condition and I'm here at the finish line and the famous Sapporo Dome see you on race day so I just picked up my bib Right behind me is the reception and it was pretty easy. Oh, the signage is pretty good and there were people who speak English, so no troubles picking my bib up. Um, now I'm gonna check out where I can wax my skis. I heard that there are um, wax tables and wax benches where uh, you can fix your skis yourself and there also should be a, a wax service. <laughs> It's uh, 20 minutes to the start, I'm warmed up and soon the gun will go. Uh, the weather is really nice, the tracks are nice, I'm really looking forward. See you at the finish line. Hands down, the hardest race ever. I had a long shower, a rest, lunch and I'm finally feeling like human again and I can walk without my legs cramping but now it's time for the most important thing the stamp in my passport one step closer to become a world lumpet master Thank you, Sapro. It truly has been an amazing experience and a very well organized race. It's time to say goodbye and see you in 14 days at Gatineau Lopet. Until then, ski around the world.